Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to finally build the Burston Prime. The blueprint for this, the barrel, the receiver and the stock all come from the same place. The derelict uh, Oricon survival. It is a bit of a pain. It's 5 or 10 minutes you can get both of these. If you did it once and go to 20 minutes you can get all, sort of all four parts. Well. No, you'd have to go 25 minutes because it's 5 minutes you'll get one part, 10 minutes you'll get another one, 15 you'll get a key, but the stock only drops at after 20. I've heard stories of it coming at 25, I got mine at 20. Um, this was at 5, no, the blueprint was 5, that was 10, that was a 10, that was a 20. This weapon has been a month of me farming this flame and derelict survival. Oh, I'm so happy to have this done. I'm so happy I'm going to rush this one. But once you've been in there and you've suffered through a month of hell, <laughs> you will get all these parts. 15,000, 12 hours, click build. Should I rush this or should I not? You know what? No. I'm going to let it build. I've rushed way too many weapons lately. And there it is. Claim this. Equip this. Yeah. No. It's under war frames. <laughs> hmm. Actually, not bad on the damage there. Accuracy is really nice. Can't really compare it to this because that's been halved. Ooh, fifteen percent status chance isn't that bad. Magazine's nice and big. Reloads not really that long, but still fairly long. Well, it's got a 10 fire rate. Ooh. Get back over there. That looks really nice. Has it got a polarity? Oh my god, it's got a polarity. Oh, and it's a V. Oh. Serration. Definitely. That's going to be able to go in there so early on as well. Oh, this could actually be a decent weapon. Only way to really find out would be to use it. Okay, so this thing doesn't actually turn out to be that bad. Killing level uh, 25s there pretty easily. With no special mods in this, to be honest. Uh, wildfires in here for the magazine capacity. One shot. I am aware that technically one shot on this is a bit more than one bullet. Because <laughs> it's a burst fire, but... I stupidly left the sentinel turned on, so he's kind of helping a bit. But it's still near enough a one shot. Ow, oh, what the hell was that? Guy with a shield, I would assume. But this is pretty much just with serration on here, uh, slash damage mods fitted. Uh, wildfire adds a bit of magazine capacity. the hell? was to set him on fire. But the starting magazine was 45 with wildfire in here which is fire damage and clip capacity. It's gone up to 54 which helps a little bit. Not really that much. The range on it is actually really nice. But it just comes out with way more damage than we first expected. Especially after farming this for so long. Would have to admit I did. I kind of hoped it was going to be a good weapon. Everybody said it was a good weapon, but like everything else, you don't really know until you've tried it yourself. Because what other people say is a good weapon might not suit your own playstyle, but this actually turned out to be a really powerful weapon. As I say, the range is nice, the damage is really nice. Ah, my aim sucks actually got a crit on that one as well. The crit build on this isn't really that possible just because it's such a low percent but these guys are there's a 24 there and they're going down fairly easily with this. The ammo is going to last flaming ages so it doesn't really need an ammo mod in it because obviously with other automatic rifles you are 
basically firing constantly and you're going to miss a lot so it's a waste of bullets whereas on this the accuracy is much much better just because it's a burst fire so you obviously aim then pull the trigger a bit like a sniper rifle yeah to give you a lot less ammo on a sniper rifle because you're not just wasting bullets even if you were to mash fire, this thing is still going to save on ammo. Which leaves mod slots available for... Ah, I've missed on that one. A lot of other things. He's taking damage behind a pole. And I think somebody threw a grenade at us. Only one thing for it. That worked. So all in all, I wouldn't say this is worth the <laughs> the length of time I personally spent farming it, but that's just a a chance thing. You could get really lucky and get this really quickly. I just, for some reason, with prime weapons, have some really bad luck. I got Ember pretty early. The glaive took forever, and this thing almost took as long. To be honest, my face when this part dropped. Ah, uh, sometimes I really do regret not having a webcam because that would have been hilarious. Because I swear I must have been smiling for about an hour afterwards because it was just such a pain getting this. I formed with so many different teams. It just, it took a while but it turned out to be well worth it in the end. I am loving this weapon. I am going to format the hell out of it. But we'll leave that off here for now. As I say, I've tried to find some bad points and to be honest, apart from the big gold thing that sticks out the end of this, so pretty much just the looks, I cannot find a downside to this weapon. Apart from the, uh, my aim sucks bit. It does seem to be a lot of pluses to this weapon. So we'll leave that off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Why am I going to take?